it was a shopping day. So this has been my plan. And today I completely, I almost said thoroughly, but I completely was a good girl and did not do the one thing I told Fred I was gonna make sure not do. And that was search the tags in the meat department. I don't need any more meat, we're good. But there was a couple of things that we needed. We didn't have a big shopping list. And then there was just a deal that I couldn't pass up. Yeah. So we only went to Walmart today. And then of course we made a couple other stops. We went to Canadian Tire and we went to Habitat for Humanity or the green store. And we found actually something that's gonna be useful in the garden. So let me show you what we got today. Ta-da! <laughs> So it's just a little shopping list, like I said. So we got milk. I did buy three. There's a reason, you'll see. We're actually gonna be making something with some of the milk tomorrow. I did buy one yellow tag, which are these garlic Parmesan knots. So we're gonna have those with supper tomorrow. Tomorrow nights we're making some chicken, so why not? We got the bananas. So we're actually gonna be doing something with the bananas tomorrow. Um, which could be fun, could be tasty. Guess we'll find out. All right, now when it comes to sale, <laughs> I bought all of these. So, we have got two cans of corn, two cans, sorry, four cans of peas, corns, and carrots, four cans of red beans, two cans of peas and four cans of black beans. Now, these cans are smaller. They're actually listed as smart size. Are you not just thoroughly impressed with that? I think that's fabulous. Check out the difference. Little can. I mean, Fred and I are hard pressed to eat one whole can of the standard size cans of peas or veggies in general when we have our dinner. So the part that I think is really cool about this is I know exactly where this is. So <laughs> this is a cannery that's been around since 1925 and it's actually in our hometown, if you can believe it. It's very, very cool. And first time I saw them in Walmart, I'm like, oh, Sprague, cool. But Sprague's not cheap, but quality is phenomenal. So these were on sale for 97 cents each. And yeah, makes me happy. Ingredients, whole kernel, sweet corn, water, sea salt. That's it. No added, no added anything to them. And the kicker is the best before date is 2028. Can you believe it? Yeah, now these are, these are pressure cooked. It even tells you that they're pressure cooked right on the can. But I've never seen peas, corn, and carrots in one can. That's actually kind of cool. This is like the perfect mix right here for shepherd's pies. Make a little shepherd's pie, mission accomplished. A couple of cans of those, you're done. Now, the smaller cans of the red beans, I mean, these guys are a little bit, a little bit smaller for what I use them for generally, but sometimes I only want a little bit when we have leftover spaghetti sauce, make a quick chili. Little can. Smart size, fabulous, it's crazy. Isn't it great? Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I know, I got a lot of cans. I didn't need any more cans, but to be honest, I did want to actually see if the quality was just as good as they always used to be. And I was so happy, so that's what we did. But there's a couple other things we got while we were there. All right, so we did get Fred some Caesar dressing cause you know, he likes Caesar and it was completely empty. We grabbed one more bottle of the French's classic yellow mustard because mustard, I mean, it really, yeah, it has a best before date, but you really can't kill mustard, which is great. And I got some French's original Dijon. Yeah, 100% Canadian mustard. Yes, it's not, you know, great poupon, but the French's stuff actually tastes pretty good. And this is not a mustard I buy very often. The French's mustards were on sale for $1.97. Great price. We also bought burrito size, extra large tortillas. These are for supper tonight. So for dinner tonight, we're actually going to be making vegetarian, not vegan, because we're using cheese. 
but we're gonna have black bean and rice burritos with some of the salsa that we had bought a little while ago that was on sale. And I'm gonna be cooking the rice in some of my salsa water that you guys saw when we were going through and tidying up the pantry. So I will show you how we're gonna put those together. So basically in a nutshell, they're gonna get beans, rice, a little bit of cheese to kind of bind it all a little bit together, make the burritos, cover them with cheese, put them in the oven. Tasty stuff. So, but it's mostly a pantry meal, which is the plan. The point is, is that I'm not buying any meat. I'm going to see if I can get through to the end of June without buying any meat. Eat as much of the pantry down as we can. And one of those are bean and rice burritos. We just had to buy the tortillas. What else I did though was our dinner last night. Last night was 100% pantry, totally 100% pantry. So this is what I made and uh, it came out pretty good. And then there was enough to actually put some in the freezer. Well, good morning. Yes, it's the morning. It is not quite 8 a.m. So it's a work day. So that I tell you, what I do on a work day. Now, where I live, of course, um, I work standard business hours. But for me, that actually starts later in the day because, of course, my time is at a different time. So what I do is I usually tend to get dinner ready before I get ready for work. So today, I'm going to show you what I do for dinner, but we're going to do nothing but a pantry meal. So... We've all shown her story. So, we've all talked about the pantry. How I have jars, cans, dried things. And I wanna show you what I make with them. So today we're actually having soup for dinner. I like to make soup. I love the flavor of soup, I like the tastes, but everything that's going into the soup is coming from a can or a jar. And yes, even the dry goods count because I have them stored in a jar. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this stuff first. Check that out. So this is a soup mix that you can get. I don't know if you can get this specific soup mix in the U.S. or not. I know you can get it here in Canada. So it's got yellow split peas, green split peas. It has rice and it has barley. It's actually a really good mix. So you do not have to put turkey, like we're going to, in this soup, if you don't want to. If you're vegetarian, vegan, fabulous, because the split peas, the yellow and green split peas, they actually have some protein and things in there, so you're good to go. It is rice and barley, so gluten-free, yay, so that's good. We're going to be using mixed vegetables. Now, these cans of mixed vegetables have peas, beans, carrots, and potatoes, so it's actually complete. I'm not putting a fresh onion in there. I'm not gonna put any fresh garlic in there. I actually have kale growing in the garden, so that's an at-home thing. I might add some, I might not. If you don't have it, you don't have to put it in. But you can basically make a really good soup with these two and like a really good veggie stock. Box of stock, powdered stock. Powdered stock, don't forget, has a little bit more salt in it, so you gotta be careful. Okay, so I've got my big pot out, mostly because I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to make too much soup, which happens all the time. We're going to start with our two jars and our soup mix. Mm, there we go. Alrighty, <clears throat> so I put a whole cup of that soup mix in there. It's probably gonna make way too much soup for us, but oh well. I'm going to move you guys mm -hmm. over here. Oh, that's better. Now you can see something. Isn't that amazing? Now, when I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna add this 500 milliliter, whoops, the 500 milliliter jar of turkey stock. Pop him in there. But I'm also going to add the stock from our turkey. There we go. Now I'm going to put this turkey just in the fridge to keep it safe 
until we're actually ready to put it in the soup. All right, we're gonna turn this on probably about a medium, but I'm also going to add a cup of water with a little bit of water in reserve, just in case the water gets low. Now, same thing. All of my spices, all my herbs, all that fun kind of stuff. There we go. This now has to cook for a little while until those get soft. Now the rice and the barley, they'll probably be overcooked. I don't mind that when you use this kind of soup mix because it kind of thickens it up, which I like. And then we just add the veggies and the turkey. That's gotta be the easiest soup in the world. Now I'm gonna be adding, like I said, the can of mixed vegetables. I do have the kale out in the garden. I'm not 100% sure, maybe I'll chop some kale up and put it in. But the point is, Straight up pantry cooking is actually pretty easy as long as you've got the pantry. I know people don't have a pantry like I do. There's a lot of people that don't have a pantry like I do and there are a lot of people that have pantries five times the size that I do. So like I said, I got a bigger pantry. I know with everything that I've got in this cupboard here, the closet over there and a few other random places like the island I can make a good complete and healthy meal without panic which for me is the important part can you guys even see anything let me defog you <laughs> all right now the stock and the soup mix has cooked for about an hour and if you can see it's all nicely cooked but it's really really thick I actually like this soup mix because it does make a thick soup. I actually like a thicker soup. I'm one of those weird people. All right, let's drop the turkey in. That's been in the fridge. And we're gonna put the veggies in. I also have some water boiling for something else this morning, so I'll try and get around that. And all I'm gonna do is water and all. There we go. Now, if you want more veggies, different veggies, put whatever you want in it. I've added a little bit of salt and pepper to this already as well, just to give it a little bit extra. You know, seasoning is always good. That's a big chunk of turkey. Let's break that up. Essentially, guys, this is done. It's kind of like a, it's more like a stoop, I suppose, than a soup. So a stoop is just like a thicker soup. But everything and anything is in here that you can eat. There's protein, there's veggies. I mean, yeah, they're not fresh veggies, but it is a complete meal. And everything came out of the pantry. And then we're gonna make some biscuits. So same thing, strictly out of the pantry. You only add water. What else are we having with the soup? You're wondering. You might not be wondering, but you know. So, we're still doing pantry stuff. What I've got in here is Italian herbs, a little bit of granulated garlic powder, I guess, depending on how fine he is to have it. That's it, and the half a cup of water that we need for the biscuit mix. I've been letting this sit here for a few minutes. I'm gonna get the baking dish ready, and we're gonna put these in the oven now to go with our soup. All right, let's pop this in and mix up these biscuits. I actually like these little small packages because that way I'm not over making the number of biscuits. Normally when we do this, we'll make just four big, decent sized little biscuits and just cook them in this tray. It works out really well. So these mixes, I mean, yeah, you're not making it from scratch, but guys, you don't have to make everything from scratch all the time. Sometimes you just need to make a quick, easy dinner, or you may need to make dinner earlier in the day. This now, we're just gonna turn back on and slowly warm it back up. Now it got really, really thick, 
This is actually what I like. I got biscuit mix all over my fingers. This is what I like. I like a thick, hearty soup. There is no added starch, no cornstarch, no flour. This is strictly thickened up because there's rice, barley, and peas in there. I forgot to tell you how much money we spent at Walmart. So, we spent a total of $46.45 at Walmart. Now, I also had a $10 gift card that I got from work, so I actually only ended up paying $36.45. Now, the $10 gift card, though, was the reason why I went a little bit crazy on the cans. I did just also show you guys what we had done for dinner last night, but I did forget to show you the tea biscuits. There's one left. So we made the four rather large tea biscuits. They came out really quite good. So I put garlic um, powder, Italian herbs, and then we sprinkled a little bit of the uh, coarse kosher salt on the top, just a tiny bit. When we are making a thicker soup, I really like either bread or biscuits with it. And everything was from the pantry. I could have put some of the fresh kale that's growing in the garden in, all that kind of stuff. But the whole point was to make a meal that was strictly 100% pantry. Nothing came from a fridge or a freezer. And I did, which was kind of cool. Now we are going to get the rice and the beans ready for supper. And then we got to put the burritos together so we can get them in the oven. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to bake burritos, but we kind of like them with all the cheese and stuff on top because it tastes good. So this is one of the few times I'm actually using just plain white rice. Can you believe it? Normally when I'm cooking rice, I'm using the basmati rice or the jasmine rice, but this is just plain old white, plain old white converted rice. So I have a cup of white rice. Now we don't normally make that much rice, I know, because I'm making six burritos and I wanna make sure there's enough for all six. We're also using the salsa water. This is gonna give it a little bit of a kick. <laughs> now, I do have a little bit of a problem with the tummy with rice, so I do overcook my rice a little bit. And apologize now to all you rice aficionados, but it does have to be a little overcooked, I'm afraid. Sorry. So we're going to measure out two cups of salsa water. This should be almost two cups because it's a 500 milliliter jar. Ooh, it was two cups. Yay. And I'm going to add an extra half a cup. Turn this on. Put the lid on. Let it come up to a boil. It's not on high, it's on like medium high, give or take. And then we'll put it right down to nothing. We'll let it get nice and tender. Now I know I do have those new cans of beans, but this is the oldest can that we have. So we're gonna open these up, rinse them off. And I'm actually gonna mash them a little bit in the frying pan. Get them all nice and tasty. Almost like a weird refried bean thing. This is my last jar of homemade salsa. So we're actually gonna be using this for dinner tonight because it does need to get used up. Oh, that smells good, just saying. Yeah, I mean, I know, I probably like am murdering this whole idea as a burrito, but we kinda, someday I should actually probably maybe learn how to cook proper Mexican food. <laughs> Maybe I should just do that. Now, they're not what you'd call like real refried beans or anything, but what I'm gonna do is these are gonna warm up. I'm gonna mash them up a bit. This is gonna be my protein for my, uh, I don't know, enchilada slash burrito slash, I have no idea, but it's gonna taste good dinner. Okay, so the beans are done and the best way to taste them just so you know put it on a tortilla this stuff by the way I have done it before black beans with just salsa a little bit of water mash them all up 
put them in a casserole dish, put some cheese on top and bake it for dip. Oh, tasty. Just saying. All right. Yeah, I have two chips for a reason. All right, this is off. Just gonna wait for the rice and then we'll put these together. Mm, so good. It's time to put dinner together. Now, these are those large, like really extra large burrito size tortillas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in this glass dish with the six. Now the rice is still hot. <laughs> I, uh, Definitely should have put that on before I did everything else, but oh well. I'll just have to be a little more careful putting these together. So we've got some rice, we've got some bean, and we're gonna put some cheese on the inside. There's also gonna be cheese on top, okay? All right, give it a good squish, give it a good fold. Here we go. One down. I don't think they're all gonna fit in that tray. <laughs> oh well. No worries, we'll make the next one a little bit smaller because I think I put too much rice in that one. Yeah, that one's a little bit more of a human size. All right, I'm gonna put these together, guys, and then we'll get them in the oven. All right, guys, this is the last one. So I did actually in the pan here, kind of separate the beans into six little piles. But, sorry, five little piles after the first super size. So, yeah, that's not as pretty as it should have been, but that's okay. I'll give Fred the super size and instead of giving him a couple of the smaller ones, or maybe I'll give him a couple small ones. I don't know, I'll figure it out. There we go. Ta-da! And we'll put some random cheese on the top, just because we can, because we've got it. I was debating on making an enchilada sauce for these instead. I still could, to be honest. I do have some somewhere. Okay, I lied. I don't have any enchilada sauce. And if I do, it's going to be in the box of mixes out back, and I'm not in the mood to search, so... I'm gonna put these in the oven and we're gonna have dinner. Dinner is ready. All right, so I added tomato paste to the rest of the salsa, saved some to eat, and we just poured the rest on top. I figure straight up vegetarian, but I don't care. It smells phenomenal. Even Fred said it tastes good. Right, Fred? <laughs> he did answer, but you guys wouldn't have heard him. All righty. We're going to have dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, guys, I am back in the grubbies. So I thought I'd continue on and show you what we're doing for today's dinner, which is still a pantry type thing. So what I've got are two chicken breasts with like a rotisserie chicken kind of sauce on them out of the freezer. One for dinner tonight, and one for sandwiches, actually for lunch tomorrow. And in here, that's all I can smell, <laughs> is a jar of carrots and a jar of turnips from right there. <laughs> Ooh, shadow, look at that. There's a little bit of salt and pepper, some butter, brown sugar, and pumpkin spice in there. So that's our meat and two veg. We're also going to be eating up the garlic knots. Now these are interesting, by the way. You heat them in the bag. So according to the directions, we put them in a 350 degree oven on a baking tray, bake for five minutes, shake gently and turn it on the opposite side, back in the oven for another five minutes. That ought to be interesting. I don't know, if they look this good, it might be worth it. So the last thing we did today was we made this. It's almost set. It's actually still a little warm. It's from Smart Chef. This is actually one of the little mixes I brought home from Tunisia. 
So essentially these are like a uh, just a cooked pudding. They're mostly a cornstarch pudding. These are a subtle flavor, which is fabulous. Now this is the berry, the mixed fruit. Um, this is the first one I've actually done. The original intention is we were gonna make just some like banana pudding with the banana one, with some sliced bananas and things, but we were outside all day. I'm tired. I just made this one. I figured might as well try it. Well, I did taste it as I was cooking it. Like I said, it's a really subtle but nice flavor. It doesn't taste artificial at all, which is weird, okay? You put about three to four tablespoons of sugar in the entire package. It's two cups of milk. Cook it until it boils and then put it in the dish of your choice. Now, I just put it in two dishes. Technically, it should be four half cups, half cup servings, but I just put it in the two dishes. I didn't even worry about it. Like I said, this was our pantry eating. So the only things that we bought for our soup, our, our enchiladas and our pudding were milk and tortillas. That was it. Um, everything else was here. The veggies were here. The chicken was here. The butter was here. The pudding mix was here. Everything was here. That first meal we made, the soup, was enough for two meals. So the rest is in the freezer and that was 100% pantry. That makes me happy knowing that I can make a good and filling meal without breaking the bank and without, you know, compromising any of the flavor. Now, when I warm the rest of it up, I might go out and grab some of that kale. Who knows? So pantry eating at its best. So that little tiny shopping haul should have only really been the tortillas, the milk, and the bananas. But I couldn't resist the cans. Sorry. Had to do it. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm uh, slightly sunburned. I'm tired. We're going to have dinner. Enjoy the evening and relax. So thanks for coming out, everybody. I appreciate every... I appreciate, I should say, each and every one of you. Yeah, I'm tired. And we'll see you next time as we do our Simple Life here on PEI with Yuki. Bye for now.